Danke, Studio Hannover. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Since President Poroshenko took over in Ukraine, there has been, like he announced, war in eastern Ukraine. We already reported about the fights at the airport Donetsk. These are continuing. The Ukrainian army doesn't allow the dead to be properly taken care of. Witnesses on site say Kiev's government has plunged Donetsk into a humanitarian disaster. Also, there is fighting in Slavyansk, where previously the mines and grenades of Ukraine's military force were only targeted at private homes. As of Monday, high-rise buildings in the town have been attacked. Grenades hit the dormitory of a pedagogical university, a large bakery and a children's hospital. It was lucky that no one was there in the evening. The head of the health department said that three people died and eight were hurt. Civilians say that even more people have died as a result of the shooting. Even a school was bombarded during school lessons. Since this started, loads of people have been trying to escape the town. Since public transport has ceased for the time being, it's difficult to get outside of town. Roadblocks have been set up all over, which make it hard for cars to drive. Only during a break in the fighting can people try to drive through with their cars. Those who do not own a car have to look for a taxi. In the past few days, far more than 10,000 civilians have left Slavyansk. This number is expected to rise continuously. Last night, in Lugansk, unarmed separatists and mothers of Ukrainian soldiers surrounded a military post of a Ukrainian special unit. They demanded the release of the 80 soldiers imprisoned there. To understand this, you must know that Ukraine's government has established compulsory military service a few weeks ago, which means the Ukrainians are forced to fight against their own countrymen. Through their tears, these brave mothers cried, let our sons go, they are not flesh for the cannons. The 80 men were allowed to go home. These are just a few glimpses of the current events over the past several days. Western media remains completely silent about the increasingly aggressive course of the new government, which isn't surprising anymore. However, the fact that even the OSCE, the neutral organization for security and cooperation in Europe, is also remaining silent about these happenings raises serious questions. Klagemauer TV will continue reporting without censorship. Stay tuned in with us and spread this news widely. Goodbye.